the SSC Institute, it has a project called Automobilismo Educacional, Educational Motorsports. So we are uniting sports with the education of the kids, which is something I always thought was very important. So this is something that came primarily from my father. He always dreams big. Uh, I always tell him, even when I think about my career, like, to really have a kid and in, in, to get into motorsports, it's such a crazy dream. I think the odds of it ever working, and uh, it's like saying I want to become an astronaut, it's really unlikely. Like, coming from Brazil, it's, like, it's so far away from that reality. And I spend a, a big part of my career here. So I started karting when I was six or seven years old, always around this karting track. So yeah, a lot of friends around and a lot of good memories as well. So actually, that, that man over there with the black t-shirt, his name is David, and he is my first karting instructor slash mechanic. I learned to drive with him. We have the kids here for 12 months, twice a week. In the beginning, they have theoretical lessons to learn uh, about the flags, about the racing. They spend more time in the classrooms, and as they progress, uh, you know, they start driving more and more, and towards the end of the course, they're beating me. The work Flavia does, which is our main teacher here, is impressive. So she teaches them about everything you can imagine. And she works with the city hall, so she knows from the neighborhoods what is happening through the life of each child. They can help us pick the, the kids which are most socially vulnerable. And they just develop so much, not only the driving, of course, you can, the, the driving progression is tremendous, but also how they participate. I was a student last year. I was in the project for a year, and now I'm Estou sendo mecânico aqui e venho no projeto de vez em quando. Pedro, he was a, a little bit rebel in the beginning, sitting in the back of the classroom, not participating as much, and like now he, he's always a smile on his face, super, super participative, uh, helping the kids from the new class. O Serginho, ele é uma inspiração para mim. Eu gosto muito quando ele vem aqui. Quando eu era da época do projeto, ele vinha aqui. A gente andava junto e até hoje. Ele, eu tenho a oportunidade de andar com ele. Eu aprendi muitas coisas aqui no, no projeto, traçado, mais sobre o kart. If one day one kid comes, you know, starts from this project and becomes a driver, maybe it happens and it's extremely small odds. But what we have here is a big opportunity for them to be presented to different fields of work. So a mechanic, an engineer, some kid wants to be a flight attendant, another wants to be a pilot, you know, someone wants to be a teacher because of Flavia. So yeah, it really opens their minds to everything. Here in the Institute, it's very important for us to have a 50-50 split of boys and girls. And we thought, you know, we should have an equal blend. There's no reason just to bring boys or girls and they're equally motivated. Sometimes you see the girl in the beginning, they're not as interested, but throughout the program, they become just as interested as the boys. It's, it's good to see that. And I think we should be equally uh, incentivized, if not more, to compensate something which has been lagging. Yeah, people speak a lot about motorsport being just for the elite, not being democratic, or maybe it's uh, only men competing, but they also don't do anything about it. It would be nice to see other racing drivers, other teams potentially, or companies that are involved in motorsport in a certain way to also participate in projects like this. Every country has, has uh, kids that would benefit. Yes, we dream of maybe maybe someday revealing a big talent, but the main thing is forming a good human beings. I think um, the Institute very likely changed his life for the better. Then when you see that, then you say that it's all worth it.